Hey y'all. You can see here where I cleaned up a bunch of hay the other day, hauled it up to the garden. I'm gonna try to get the rest of it up today. Um, I wanted to walk over here and check out Buttercup since she's laying down. She is getting huge. She shouldn't be calving until like mid-April, uh, but there is a chance that she got bred by the neighbor's Angus bull because he had an Angus bull that got over our fence. Oh, she could be calving in two weeks. And then he had a Charlet bull that got over his fence onto ours. And um, he and I had quite the discussion over that. And he didn't act like it was a big deal, but it was to me because I have heifers that I needed to have a smaller bull for. But uh, anyway, it was a it was a cordial conversation. But um, I need to keep an eye on her just in case she is bred um, because she's a heifer, never had a calf before. And I want to make sure everything goes smoothly. You can see Guy, we let him get out and wander around the farm uh, on nice days. And uh, we are finished with him. All of our does should be bred. So we are waiting to hear where he needs to go next. And we're going to just haul him to wherever they need him to be. So, but in the meantime, we're just working. We're going to try to get the garden all mulched and... Uh, get all this hauled up haul the mulch pile or the wood chips over to the garden and put it all on it today um, that's a huge undertaking if I get it done today that'll be amazing so but we're gonna try All right, y'all, it's windy. I hope you can hear me. We're up here getting ready to dump this load. The kids are going ahead and taking down the cattle panels and pulling the posts uh, where we're not gonna do trellises this year. Uh, we're, like Jenna said in their last video, we're reducing the amount of, uh, or one of the last videos, we're reducing the amount of tomatoes we're doing this year because we don't need that many tomatoes. So we are going to be using this space three and a half extra rows for other stuff. We're trying to get as many things in the garden this year as possible, and uh, this is the best way to do it. So, all right, let's okay. get this done. Can I open this? Yep, you open that. Okay. Daddy, what do we do with all the zip ties? Huh? What do we do with all the zip ties? Oh, you can put them on the back of the truck. We're gonna clean it off pretty soon. Let me get this pin, close it up. Yeah. All right, come here, Lydia Grace. Everybody, all the kids love to dump this trailer to push the button, so it's Lydia's turn this time. All right, y'all, so I am very fortunate to have friends that trust me enough to loan me their expensive tools and toys like the dump trailer. Um, it would be a dream of my mind to have a dump trailer someday, uh, sooner rather than later, because I could use it so much. But right now, that's not where I'm at, And but I have access to one. Um, a good friend of mine that does landscaping, he's got a dump truck and a dump trailer. He uses them both a lot, but sometimes I can borrow the dump trailer. So anyway, that's a real blessing and I'm very thankful for it. And uh, you can imagine how long, how many trips. It would have taken me well over an hour easily just to haul this one pile up here. So that's two hours. And that's not counting all the mulch. We have um, all of these wood chips. Let's see. We have all these wood chips over here that I'm going to load onto the trailer and bring over here and dump onto the garden now that's not very far to track with the tractor but it would take so much longer to do it with the tractor than it would be to just scoop it load it right onto the trailer and bring it over here and dump it even that short distance that dump trailer is going to save me a tremendous amount of time so anyway emma's can't come in to pick me up with a four-wheeler to go down and get the tractor and these other little dualies are going to work on they're going to continue tearing down this fence
Okay, y'all, so I decided to take my uh, grapple and just run it through the ground right here to see if there were any potatoes. Look at Gabe, he's digging. Uh, and there are some small potatoes in here from last year. There's a big one right here, but it's soft, so we're just going to pick through them and uh, figure out which ones are good and which ones are not. There's not a lot. Um, we were really late getting potatoes in last year, so uh, y'all just kind of sift through that real quick. I'm going to take and rake up this whole, uh, kind of rake up this other row and see what's in it. Most of these potatoes are bad, but uh, we were really late getting them in. We were just now digging them. I mean, it is the last day of February, February 28th. And, um, but we had already tried to dig some and we knew there wasn't a whole lot in the ground. We, if we would have eaten what we planted before we planted them, we'd have had more potatoes. <laughs> but this year we're gonna do a lot better with them because we're gonna have a lot better soil. We're gonna have them in the ground on time. Uh, because we are here, we're somewhat settled, we're able to focus our attention on things that need to be focused on at this Daddy. point. Yes, baby. Daddy, is this one soft? Yeah, that's a yucky one too, baby. But you did good by finding it, didn't you? Wow! Yeah. I've already found one and I haven't, I haven't found two! Okay. Alright, well I think that's probably it. I'm going to take where that dirt pile right there and back drag it back through here. I, to, I was digging taters out of it. Yeah, just to put it back where it goes. Uh, don't throw them in the strawberry bed, Jeremiah. Oh, bird. another note. We have a lot of strawberry leaves, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, we're going to get this all hopefully taken care of this today and hopefully get this area fenced off this uh, week. Look at Gabriel. Well, he's coming down. He was. He's on top of the mulch pile. Check him out. Yeah, <laughs> the other day he was playing on it. Yep, he likes the mulch pile. All right, let me put this dirt back and we will start spreading some straw, or not straw, but rotted hay.
right y'all so we got most of the garden covered we got all this over here where the um tomatoes and cucumbers are going to be all the way to like right here so this has got the straw or the hay uh composting mess on it the cow manure hay stuff um the wood chips are probably with everything we're probably close to varying between 8 and 12 inches deep over the whole garden which is awesome um the reason we quit is because the battery on the trailer died it only charges when i'm um when my truck is running i didn't think about it or else i left the truck running but um it was just doing a lot of dumps without actually getting charged so the battery died on it and so i have to plug it in overnight and let it recharge the so then i moved all that all this into the place over there where the uh, tomatoes and stuff go between the panels with the tractor and now a tractor's out of fuel so that's why we're quitting but we have made a tremendous amount of progress today i mean this is a huge transformation um look over here i'm gonna just just show the i mean this is just crazy like how much we've done with the mulch and then all the way over here and then come over here we these are where we grew our melons last year these two mounds this one and this one and so i had the kids they pulled this back and we'll pull it back some more uh, but we're going to put compost on top of these and then put it back and we're going to do our melons again right here next this year the the compost i'm just going to put a deep layer of compost to mound these back up some more and it is i bet that the melons are going to be amazing this year uh but tomorrow is supposed to be another beautiful day we'll have fuel for the tractor the four-wheeler is also out of gas so i gotta make a fuel run diesel fuel gasoline uh charge the battery on the trailer but anyway this is amazing progress um, i bet our garden is going to be so much better this year we shouldn't have any issues about watering this year so anyway well thank y'all for watching and we will catch y'all on the next video